Remember that the winning solution for the Netflix price has three levels of models. And until now, we have covered the global model, which handles the global effects, and the collaborative filtering model that handles the local effect. And next, we'll talk about the matrix factorization model, or AKA the latent factor model that extracts the regional correlations. And the basic idea of latent factor model is to map each user and item into a latent space where each dimension of the latent space represents some factor. And for example, the first dimension of this latent space represents whether, whether this uh, movie is more like a natural movie or is, or is less like a natural movie. And the second dimension of this latent space represents whether this movie is more serious or it's, it's less serious as, and therefore it's more like a funny movie. And similarly, we can also map all the users into the same latent space. And then for each user, we can just recommend the movies that are closer to this user. For example, for this user, we can recommend the movie Dumb and Dumber because it's closer to this user in this latent space. And more concretely, the latent factor model will try to factorize this whole rating matrix into two smaller matrices. So these are the user matrix and the item matrix. And for example, this user matrix P each row represents the factors for, for a user. For example, this first row is the factors for user one, and this three dimension represents the strength or the relevance of this user in this specific vector. And for now, let's assume that we can approximate this rating matrix as the product of the, these two thin matrices P and Q. And note that this Y, uh, this R actually has missing entries. So basically we, we would want to uh, minimize the reconstruction error, but only on the known ratings. And we don't actually care about the values on the missing ones, like the ones in the white boxes here. But let's, let's just ignore that for now. And if we do this, then somehow we already know how to uh, perform this latent factor analysis, and the answer is SVD. Remember, in SVD, we actually factorize the input matrix into three matrices. And if we have the results of SVD, then we can simply set the here the user matrix P to the product of U and sigma, and then we can set the Q to B. And then we, and in this case, we already finish uh, learning the latent factor models. Um, as a recap, remember that in the SVD, we factorize it into, we factorize the input data matrix into three matrices. And we have the U, which is the left singular matrix or left singular vectors. We have a V, which is the right singular vectors. And we have the sigma, which contains the singular values. So in our case, the SVD on the Netflix data, we are trying to factorize the rating matrix into two matrices, right? We want to factorize it into P and Q here. Then the input matrix in SVD is simply our rating matrix. And the user matrix P will just be the product of U and sigma in the SVD. And the item matrix Q will just be the right singular vectors inside the SVD which is B here. And one thing to note is that for a specific entry, for a specific entry in the, in the rating matrix, if we want to predict its rating, we can directly use the inner product between PX and QI. And here PX is the X column of the, of the matrix P and QI is the i-th column of the metric Q. And let's say that we, are, we have already successfully 
factorize a, a rating matrix into two matrices, P and Q. But how do we estimate the missing rating of user I for uh, user X for item I? Right? Let's say that we want to estimate the rating of user two to item five. How do we do this? We can just take the factors for user two and we take the factors for item five and we use that inner product to estimate their rating. So in this case, this is the factor for user two and this is a factor for, for item five and we take its inner product, which gives us 0 0.4. And this is the estimated rating for this entry. So again, in the latent factor model, so we actually map all the items, and in this case, all the movies into a latent space. And here, the x-axis represents the factor one in this latent factor model. So basically it's like the first column, the first column in the matrix Q. And the y-axis represents factor two in the latent factor model. So it's like the um, column two of the matrix Q. And similarly, we also map all the users into the same latent space. And to recommend movies for the users, we just calculate that that inner products with um, promising movies, and then we will just recommend the movies with the largest inner product to this user. So basically, for example, if we want to recommend movies to this user, we will probably recommend the movie Dumb and Dumber because their inner products are actually the largest. Until now, we already know that the SVD gives the minimal reconstruction error, right? Basically, it's the Frobenius norm or the sum of square errors as put down in this equation here. But there's two things to note here. The first one is that this SSE of sum of square errors and RMSE are actually monotonically related. So if you look at the equation, you can find that RMSE is actually the square root of SSE divided by some constant. So this is great news because we now know that SVD is actually minimizing the RMSE in the training data. But one complication though, is that the sum in the SVD error term is over all the entries. So basically, if, if we have a missing entry or if we have a no rating, then it will be interpreted as a zero rating in the eyes of the SVD. This is, this is obviously not correct because let's say that this entry has no ratings and when we're operating or computing SVD, SVD will treat this entry as a zero rating, which means that this user actually hates this move, which is actually obviously not correct. And this happens because our rating matrix has missing entries, right? And SVD isn't really defined when entries are missing. Therefore, we would need to use some specialized methods to find our P and Q. And again, we can formalize it into an optimization problem where we're trying to find the matrix P and Q that minimize the reconstruction error. But this time we only want to minimize the reconstruction error for the non-missing entries here. And again, the estimated rating for user X to movie I is the inner product between PX and QI. And PX is actually the um, column X of the matrix Q of the matrix P, sorry. And, and QI is the ith column of the matrix Q. And note that we, in here, this is different from the SVD because we don't really require the columns of P and Q to be orthogonal and unit length. 
And, and here, P and Q actually map the users and movies to a latent space, as, as we mentioned before in the graphical representation. And, uh, and this is actually the most popular model among all the Netflix teams. And we'll see why in the next part of this lecture. 